Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Today, uh, I said I really wasn't going to do it, but I figured somebody might want to know how to put this thing back together. So we are putting this spindle that we have just rebuilt back onto this mower deck, and then we're going to put it all back together. And just in case somebody needs to know how to do it, we're going to uh, put the pulley on once I get it bolted up. It's just easier for me to do it that way. And then I'll put the blade on. Obviously, you know, it's just just the way you do it. We're going to have to drop the deck all the way down, which is here. And you'll see that. Now, you're going to have four bolts. They're half inch. We're going to go up from the bottom bolt into this thing. If one of these tits, little... Uh, bolts are cracked or broken the uh, where you, these ears You're going to create an imbalance. It's going to be kind of dangerous that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to take these off without breaking them because that's a big problem So I ordered a new spindle housing and then I rebuilt that spindle uh, And I had an extra housing so I figured well heck now I've got a spare um, Let me get this thing bolted together and again, it's four of these half inch so more to come okay guys now one thing I will mention I'm gonna put you down here so you can kind of see that spindle I hope you can see it and I'm swing it around so you can see this right here now the bolt holes on that spindle casing are not threaded some are some aren't on that one it is not so you either make the threads lay in here or you can uh, thread it before you put it in. It's an aluminum casing, so it's not a really big deal. It's just kind of annoying uh, to have to do it because you think for what you pay that they would do it already. But, it, you know, again, it's no big deal. Now, what I'm gonna do, uh, I made them uh, partially. Uh, I put like four threads up inside those uh, bolt holes and I'll cut them as I'm going and I might put a little bit of lubricant on there to help it along. You wanna be careful, though, and not break those uh, ears off because then you're kind of starting over. More to come. And here you can see my beautiful helper. Hello, Miss Susie. Wrong name. Wrong name. Try again. Uh, hello, Hooch. Hey. That's better. Oh, and, and she's, she's sitting on my lap while I'm trying to work. But she's going to go find us some steaks to celebrate not being on the Gulf eating seafood anymore for a long time, for years years no, but a couple months we'll for a couple back. of months we'll be back then we'll be back down there so we're gonna get back to this but remember always uh, check those bolt holes to make sure they are indeed threaded and remember they're half inch and I've just about got them on there try not to cock them get them crooked or anything like that because uh, that can uh, be a problem so more time. okay guys now we have that spacer put on Got the pulley sitting on top of it. I have it pretty well centered. And what we're going to do is put the bolt on there, put the uh, blade on the bottom, and tighten the two of them together. And it will force uh, press that uh, bearing. It's up a little bit. Press it down the rest of the way. And then I'll take the other blade off, and we'll be uh, sharpening it, and we'll be done. Now, one thing I, I will say, I don't do this for a living. I am not a professional. If I'm not doing it the way you like me to do it, well, it's just the way I do it, and it works for me. So, having said that, I guarantee you this video is worth the price of admission. So, more to come. Okay, guys, now I'm going to lay you down here. One more thing. You will notice that the blade will go on a certain way, and that uh, I'm using gator blades right here, and so uh, the little uh, back of it, the fins, are raised up. Uh, make sure that they are facing up because that's what blows the grass around. Different blades are are, uh, are, are set up different, but I have uh, put them on backwards or upside down, and don't worry, I've done it, everybody does it. But just make sure that it is uh, put on correctly. We're gonna tighten it up, and that's gonna be about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, in just a second, uh, a picture of my ugly mug and my beautiful wife is gonna pop up on that side. Uh, click that button if you want to subscribe to the channel and then on the opposite side are going to be some videos that you might like to watch. We do uh, 
a lot of uh, homesteading, prepping, stuff like that. This is just one of the things that you need to do around the homestead. You guys go take care of your people.